I've never thought about going and getting a career in research, but after I mean, doing everything, all the experience that we got from this course, it was, it was, I think it was life changing. Every time I read an article, I now appreciate, you know, all the work that's been put into. At first, Dr. France, we weren't really sure what topic we were going to go over. Um, so she wanted us to do a little bit of research to see maybe what we would be interested in. What's something that would be important to everybody, you know, in the general public? And we all eat, and so we decided to go for the emulsifiers and what effect they had on our oral microbiota. A bunch of food have food additives. So among them is an emulsifier. It helps with the emulsion of oil and water. We tested to see if emulsifiers had an effect on the composition of the microbiota. The emulsifier that we chose was E4471. It's actually in a l almost everything that we eat, like cookies, bread, like anything that you can really think of. If you do your research and you look it up, then you will see that these emulsifiers are present. So in general, the FDA will have a certain limit to the amount of emulsifiers that can be used, but with E4471, it's not regulated at all. You can use up to 10% if you want. So we took samples from different individuals at UNT Dallas and what we did was we took a cheek swab from each individual and we put it into media. The media allows for bacterial growth. One of them contained the emulsifier 1% specifically because 1% is what's commonly used in all products of food and we also had a tube with just nutrient media. We then compared plates with broth and then plates with broth and emulsifier. The emulsifier did in fact impact the microbes in your microbiota, it did. And we saw that there was a decrease in bacteria with the presence of the emulsifier and an increase in pathogenic bacteria with the presence of the emulsifier. So, I mean, that, that tells us that this emulsifier could be a way in which um, diseases come about. Before the symposium, obviously, we were kind of nervous. The day before, I was feeling pretty good. While I was in the symposium and people came up to me, I actually felt, I didn't feel nervous anymore. All of that just went away because I saw how interested people were. I honestly thought that we had a pretty good chance in winning because we put so much time and effort into this. We did a lot of work through the semester. It was three plus hours a day probably, sometimes on the weekends. When we won, I was like, no, we didn't. And then I was like, yeah, we did. <laughs> we did. These students are incredibly impressive to begin with. Um, I'm really proud, proud of these, these students. But they progress so much throughout the course of the semester um, and the course itself and working in the lab. They'd say that I was, I was pretty tough on them, but I think it worked out well. She wasn't that hard, you know, she thinks she was really hard on us. Yes, <laughs> she was. She had very high expectations. I couldn't be more proud of this group. This group was absolutely amazing.